Mm-hmm.
Adam Mast. Hey. Tonight we got for you the Season 4 Draft Lottery. We're going to be switching things up a little bit here. So Adam is going to go ahead and get into detail about how the picks are made. Yeah, so this is actually our first time streaming the Draft Lottery, so excited about that. But we also made some changes to the rules for the lottery. This season, instead of just the non-playoff teams having a chance of uh, different picks based on the lottery, this season all all teams and all tiers will have different odds of making 
their their uh, first pick. So the other rule is instead of just giving out picks because we have a snaking draft order, some GMs might want later picks in the first round. So based on the lottery, we're giving out the first choice or the second choice of pick, and then from there the GM gets to decide which exact pick they want. So we've already handled this beforehand. Uh, the GMs gave us their rankings for the different picks, and based on that, we're giving out the picks tonight. So let's get into it. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to start off with Premier here. We're going to start at the top, or the last pick rather, and make our way down to the first. So let's get this going right ahead with pick number 12. It's going to be Alpha Team Jungle Children. They were wanted high pick first round, unfortunately got pick 12. Yeah, next one is pick 11. Going to Garbage Trucks. That's Blackhawk. They were the runner-up last season. And Blackhawk is a new GM who took over for Benji. They went 38-22 and 22 and lost to the Hurricanes in the championship. And pick number 10, going to the Nukes with Vickison. 34-26 and 26 last season, made it to the semifinals. Good season for those guys. Yeah, pick nine, going to Quasars. That's Zets. He's a new GM as well. He took over for Spencer. This is a new team, so he had a pretty high chance of getting a top pick. And pick number eight, going to the wheels with good old wheelchair. Been here for a while. Ended up even on the season and also made it to the semifinals. Pick seven. We have the Universal Unicorns, a new team. I Explosive Corn is a brand new franchise. He doesn't have a franchise name yet, but he has a team name. So Universal Unicorns with pick seven. And pick six, getting right back into it with Aces, El Diablo Rojo. A little rough season last year, looking to turn it around. They were 19, 48, 19 and 41 last season. With pick five, we have Mordor, Neb. So he took over for Llama and rebranded the franchise. So he has Middle Earth names, and Mordor is his premier team. I helped him, just saying. Pick number four, <laughs> going to the Chargers with Crane. Electric Mayhem, um, new to the premiere this season, so we'll see how they do. He's coming in with the four pick there. Now we have the top three. With pick three, we have Sharks, Top Scott. They went 27 and 33. They were sixth seed in the playoffs last season. And with number two. Let's see who we got here, everybody. Drum roll. And we got the Hurricanes. G GM Shamu. They were the champs last season. And they are going to have a good one again this year. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's surprising that they had such a high pick, considering that they were the champs. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the same pick, too. Wow. GG Shamu. Yep, got the luck. And pick one, by process of elimination, goes to Evix. He has a new team, took over for Ghibli Doo, but this is a new team here in Premier. It's called the Owl Bears. Goes with the Dungeons and Dragons team. So, moving on to Elite. Coming in with pick 20, we got. How do you say that again, Adam? I have no idea. Server We're going to go with Server. Server. <laughs> Server. <laughs> Server. <laughs> we both don't know how to say it, but either way. Franchise name. <laughs> Melted the GM 3125 last season. Yeah, pick 19 goes to Alpha Squadron. So this used to be Heaters last season. They were 24 and 32. I think he's I'm pretty sure he had Alpha Squadron before. So he's just reusing that name now. Right on, right on. So. Pick 18, we got the Tarks with Evix as well. Lost in the semifinals last season, 34 and 22. All right, pick 17, Missiles goes into Fickison. They were 36 and 20 last season, second place in the playoffs. Lost in the finals, one to four. And pick 16, we're coming in with the Kings. El Diablo Rojo went to game five in the semifinals against the champs last season, ended 40 and 16. I got this one, Adam. And pick 15, coming in 
with the champs of Elite last season, the Knights, GM Sneepe, ended the season as well, 40 and 16. <laughs> Pick 14, we have Enterprise Sets. So new GM, but last season Enterprise went 23 and 33. And pick 13, we are going to have the Stingrays with Top Scott. 27 and 29, just shy of 500. They were one win away last season from making those playoffs. Pick 12, it's going to Gondor. That's Schneb. Again, going with those Middle Earth names. They were white noise last season, and they went 31 and 25. And pick 11, we got the newcomer, the Pog Champs. One of my favorite names so far. <laughs> GM Rosie, wishing them a great first season here and season four. Yeah, I got to love that meme machine franchise name. Killing it. Another good franchise name here, 5050 Pizzeria. We picked 10, Gelato, going with those food names. It's a new team. And pick nine, we're going to the Trash Cans with Blackhawk. They went 23 and 29 last season. Looking to flip it around here. Got a nine pick over here in Elite. Pick eight. Of the Falcons, Tubsy. So he took over for Spoilt. Last season, the Falcons went 18 and 38. And with pick seven, we're going to have the Tempest coming from Shamu. Just shy of 500 again, 27 and 29. They were the four seed, lost in the quarterfinal in the playoffs. And pick six, we have the chairs with wheelchair. Uh, not the best season last season. They had a 12 and 40 record, but I'm sure he'll be able to turn it around this season. And pick five, we have the Lions with the Jaravico. They went from four teams to now having six. Big turnaround for that GM there. So let's see what he can do this season, mixing things up. Pick four, Hornets, Dart. Uh, just like Dravico, he had four teams last season. Now he's got six teams, and this elite team is new. So let's see how he does. And now on to the top three here. Coming in at pick three, we have... The good old Phoenix with Tree Frog. Big competitor, lost in the quarterfinals, unfortunately. Ended with a great record, though, 37 and 19. The second pick. We have the Bolts. That's, that's uh, Crane. He had 13 and 43 record last season. So now the top two pick. Should and have a chance to. Sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. Hey, they should have a good chance of flipping things around here with that number yep. two, that's for sure. And last but not least, process of elimination, we got Galactic Cheese. That's oh, Galactic Cheese. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I can't read, you, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, new, new team, new GM. Um, really looking forward to these guys playing. I can't wait to see what he comes up with for a franchise name. Really, really excited about that. Names are killing it. Yeah, Galactic Geese and Universal Unicorns. Straight. I, I mean, what a start. Ridiculous. <laughs> now on to Major. Yes, yes, yes. Pick 24. We have Rosie and the Meme Machine coming in with uh, Kappas as his team name for the Major. Against another new, new team, new franchise. Making it happen. Pick 23 here. We have... Precipitate Poor <laughs> with Matt. He's doing a little parody of Cloud9 here, trying to mix things up, taking it over. Actually, it's rather making a new franchise here in okay. Season yep. 4. Yep. Pick 22, Vehicular Mayhem. That's Alpha. I think just like Alpha Squadron, he's bringing back an, an old team name from Season 2. And Pick 21, we have the Waste Baskets, Blackhawk. Pretty good season for those guys, 34 and 34, just just even. And we'll see what they can do this year. So pick 20, it's going to Liches, that's Evix. So he took over for Ghibli Doo, and Liches last season went 32 and 36. And at 19, we have the Hydras with Melted. 
I just changed up the name a little bit. Obviously, we're adding in an extra tier. They used to be the Leviathans, ended at 30 and 38. With pick 18, we have Quads, wheelchair. They were the champs last season. They beat Queens in game six of the finals, and they had a 48 and 20 record. And at pick 17, we're going to have the Tigers with a Dravico. And at 33 and 35, again, with another name change, they used to be the Lions, now the Tigers. And Bears, oh my. <laughs> pick 16. We have the Queens from El Diablo. So they had a .73 winning per, .735 winning percentage last season, which was second best in major and came in second place in the playoffs. And at pick 15, we have the Rockets with Fickison. They did 31 and 37. Another name change here. Their name was the Dynamites. Pick 14. We have Chicken Parm from Fitz. Last season, they went 18 and 50. And pick 13, we're keeping things moving. We're going to Endeavor with Zephs. They went 28 and 40 last season with the Interstellar franchise. Let's see what they got this season for. Pick 12. We have Yellow Jackets, Dart. They had a 0.75 winning percentage, which was second best overall across all tiers. They've lost in the semifinals, though. They had a 51 and 17 record. And at pick 11, we have the Thunder Eagles and Tree Frog. Good season for them last year, 40 and 28. Pick 10 is going to Apollos. That's Wanma. First time we've seen him. He has a space exploration for his franchise name. And at pick 9, we have the Lightning with Crane and Electric Mayhem. And it's season three at 38 and 30. Pick eight. It's going to Pointers. This is Lamont, a brand new franchise. He has a dog pound for his franchise name. And pick seven. Going back to the homie. Explosive Corn. This time we have the Lunar Hens. Brand new team again. Really excited for this guy. Really, really excited. Exactly. Can't wait to see what he can do. Now pick six. We have Gladiators from Snipe. They lost in the semifinals against Queens last season. They were 44 and 24. And at pick five, we have Eclipse with Lieutenant Colonel Thornton. Changing it up, going to the track artist now. A little rebrand from Fuzzball last season. They ended at 18 and 34. Pick four is going to Hawks. It's Tubsy. So last season, the Hawks were 29 and 39. And here we are on to our top three for major. Going to start off here with pick number three. It is going to be going to Rivendell with Neb and Middle Earth. Um, used to be Reverb, end of the season, 3, 20, and 44. And with pick two, we have Sailfish from Top Scott. They were 30 and 38 last season. Now they have a second overall pick. And your first overall pick for Major is going to be the... Drum roll, please. The Monsoons with Shamu. Shamu taking two first overall picks. But regardless, <laughs> the Monsoons, you know, ending at 26 and 42, a little more reasonable this time around. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep things moving right along here and go over to Minor. So with the 24th overall pick, we have Pepe's. That's Rosie again, the meme machines. Love those names. Uh, apparently, he just wanted a late late first-round pick. Guess so. And at pick 23, we have We Those Guys. A little parody of We Them Girls coming from Matt. Doing a lot of parodies this year. I believe his franchise name is, is hang on, hang on, hang on, the Rocket League Noob Series. Love it. 
Pick 22 is going to Dragons. It's melted. So they had the best regular season record in minor last season at 47 and 21. And at pick 21, coming in hot, the Carball Comrades. It used to be known as Purdue and Pulch, ran by Alpha. 28 and 40, season three record. Pick 20 is going to Surge. That's Crane. They had a 34 and 34 record last season. And at pick 19, coming in hot, Shamu again, the Blizzards. Pretty good season. Season 3, 37 and 31. One win away from making those playoffs. Pick 18. We have Vikings from Snipe. They were the champs last season for minor. 42 and 26 record. And with pick 17, we have Top Scott and the Seahorses. Had a pretty good record as well. 43 and 25. They were second place in the playoffs. Pick 16. We have Jaguars, Stravico, Apex Predators. They used to be the Tigers. Now they're the Jaguars. They had a 38 and 30 record last season. You got it. And pick 15 going to Scorch with Lieutenant Colonel Thorin. At a 30 and 38 record season three. Looking to turn around here. We'll see what they got. Pick 14. Jax. El Diablo Rojo. They had a 36 and 32 regular season record, and they lost in the wild card game in the playoffs. And at pick 13, we are going to have the Wasps ran by Dart. They were 45 and 23 season three. First seed in the playoffs, but unfortunately knocked out in game five of the quarterfinals by the snap -its. And pick 12 is going to Wings. That's Fitz. They had a 41-27 and 27 record in the regular season and made it to the quarterfinals where they lost to the Vikings. And pick 11, we're going to have Discovery with Zeps. One of the middle of the round picks, kind of got what he wanted there. Headed season three, 21-47. and 47. Pick 10 is going to Trash Bags, Blackhawk. They had a 31-37 and 37 record last season. Didn't make the playoffs. And pick 9 is going to Dynamite with Fickison and the Fallout Shelter. 38-30, Season 3. They used to be the snap -its. They are now known as Dynamite. Pick 8 is going to Labradors. That's Lamont with the Dog Pound. Brand new franchise, brand new team. We'll see what he can do this year, this season. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I say it to you all the time. Pick seven, going to the Griffins and Tree Frog. A little bumpy season. Last season, season three, 26 and 42 is what they ended with. Pick six, we have Voyagers. That's one month's team. Again, that's a space exploration franchise, brand new franchise. See what he can do. And pick five, we have the Ospreys with Hubsy. 28-40, season three, unfortunately did not make those playoffs. Next we have pick four, and it's the Flailers wheelchair. 23-45 and 45 record. Not what you're looking for, but I'm sure you can turn it around this season. Yeah, high on the picks. Pick four. We'll see what he can do. Yep. Be interesting. Got to go ahead and move on to the top three of minor. Pick number three coming in with the Mimics and Evix. Obviously taking over for Ghibli Do. 38 and 30 is the record. They only had a 3.16% chance at first choice. Ended up getting yeah. number three. It's amazing. Number two, we have. Rohan, that's Neb. Used to be Overdrive last season. They had a 23 and 45 record. And your number one overall pick for season four, minor tier, is going to be my favorite, Space Wine. <laughs> that's a great name coming from the most important. I think that's the second one I've announced for yeah. them. It might even be the third for 
first overall pick, but I know he's got two for sure in the bag. He's got the first pick in minor and the first pick in elite. Yeah, set, set himself up for success. We'll, we'll see how he ends up at the end of the season here. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Now we have Challenger coming in at pick 20. We have the Compost Bins. That's a new team for Blackhawk and the Waste Management franchise. And at pick number 19, we're going with the Flares. It's going to be Fixin's team. He's adding on a Challenger team for himself there. They're going to be new to Season 4. Good luck. Have fun. Pick 18 is going to Leviathans. I think that used to be his elite team or major team, maybe. He changed the names around a little bit. Uh, Melted's taking over from Zero Turn, of course, who had Hellions for his challenger team last season. And at pick 17, we're going with the Spastics. Ran by Wheelchair. They were the champs last season. And they were 29-27. Wow. Yeah, came from a fourth seed in the playoffs and ended up winning the championship. Pick 16 is going to shock. That's Crane. Had a 34 and 22 record last season. And pick 15 is going to Kazadum. Kazadum. Let me get that right. Middle Earth and Neb. Record was 35 and 21. They used to be Amplitude in season three. Pick 14 is going to Owls. It's Tubsy. They had a 35-21 and 21 record last season, and they lost in Game 5 of the quarterfinals. And pick 13, we're going with the Derechos with Shamu. Added at 30-26, and 26, they lost in the semifinals to the Spastics. Pick 12, we have Malish, Lieutenant Colonel Thor. I think that's... No, we've we said his name before. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Malice with pick 12. They had a 23-33 and 33 record last season. And pick 11 is going to be the Shrimps with Top Scott. Ended at 20-36. and 36. No playoffs for them. Looking for a big turnaround this season. Pick 10 is going to Breadsticks. That's Fitz. They had a 26-30 and 30 record last season. Moving right along, pick nine, going to the Rocks with Tree Frog. A little muddy road for them, 18 and 38, finishing off season three. Again, look for a big turnaround. We'll see, we'll see what he can do. Pick eight is going to Bulldogs. That's Lamont, new team, new franchise, got the Dog Pound franchise. Good luck to him in his first season as a GM. And pick seven. Giving it to the tents, El Diablo Rojo, 35 and 21. They were the runner-up for Challenger in season three. Next is pick six going to Barbarians. That's Snipe. They had a 38 and 18 record last season, and they had the best regular season record for Challenger. And pick five, we are going to Ground Hunt. With Matt. It's a first name. I didn't see that was a parody of something. But hey, you know what? I'll take it. I like it. New to season four. Good luck, Matt, in your first season here. Pick four is going to Zombies. That's Evix. Took over from Ghibli Doo. They had a 25 and 31 record last season. And of course, here is your top three for Challenger. Moving things right along here. Your third pick for this challenger tier will be the Killer Bees and Dark. Unfortunately, they lost into the quarterfinals to the Derechos, ended at 36 and 24 regular season. With pick two, we have the Pioneers. That's Wanda's team. It's a brand new team for the Space Exploration franchise. Hey, let me get a drum roll. Your number one pick for Challenger. Last but not least, the Cougars with Dravico. Formerly known as the Dragwires in season three, ended their season at 24 and 32, coming up with the first overall pick in season four. 
All right, moving on to prospect. With the 12th overall pick, we have the Spartans. That's Schnippe's franchise. They were the champs last season at .817 winning percentage during the regular season, which is, I think, tied for the record. All time. I, be I believe you're right, yes. I believe you're right. We'll have to check in on that again, just to be sure. Anyway, moving right along. We are going to go to pick 11 with Marinara. Fitz, they were second place runner-up in the playoffs and at 38-22. With pick 10, we have Sparks Crane. They had a 33-27 and 27 record last season. And pick number nine, we are going to the Ravens with Tree Frog. Ended 31 and 29 season three, formerly known as the Dodo Birds. Pick eight, we have the Gorgons. That's Melton's franchise. I'm not going to attempt that franchise name. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a brand new team for Melton. And at pick seven, we're going with the Flow. That's Lieutenant Colonel Thorin, obviously taking over. They ended last season a little bumpy, 12 and 48. Looking for a big turnaround again. Pick six, we have Spirits. That's Wanama, Space Exploration, new team. Good luck to him. And pick five, we have the Fire Ants coming from Dart. Ended last season 27 and 33. They lost to game five in the semifinals to Marinara. They were the last seed of the playoffs. With pick four, we have Huskies, Lamont. This is his Dog Pound franchise. Brand new team as well. And our top three picks for Prospect Season 4 are going to be pick number three. Who's it going to be? It's going to be the Snappets with Fickerson. Fickerson adding in a new team there in Prospect. Good luck to him on his new venture in Season 4. With the second overall pick, we have the Leopards, Dravico, Apex Predators. They were 28 and 32 last season. And of course, last but not least, drum roll, please. Your number one pick for season four in prospect is going to be Drizzle with Shamu. New team for Shamu in prospect for season four. Good luck to him. That again is a second overall pick, second first overall pick for Shamu. Congrats, buddy. Now we have a special announcement for the name for the bottom tier. We had uh, public suggestions coming in over the last week, and then the elevated roles all voted. And your winner for the bottom tier name is... Contender. Contender. So, eight team tier at the bottom, name Contender. Let's see who gets what picks. Of course, with this one, all teams are new for the contender tier, since the whole tier is new. So everyone had the same chances of getting first choice at pick. So we'll see where they end up. Right, indeed. At pick eight, we're coming in with the Hellions from Melted. Coming in with that last pick, unfortunately. But hey, brand new tier, brand new game. Let's see what they can do. We still have two picks in a row with the top, top pick in the second round. So True. Right you are. Pick seven goes to Boxers, Lamont. Gotta love those dog names for the dog pound. And at pick six, we're coming in with Fury and Lieutenant Colonel Thorin. Good luck to those guys who track artists. I think they got a lot in stock for us here in season four. Pick five, we have Strix, Tree Frog. Not quite sure what a Strix is, but apparently it's some sort of bird. Interesting. Never heard of it. Google yep. that, folks. Google it. And at pick four, we have the Locusts with Dart and the Swarm. Good luck to Dart this season and his Locust team. Now we're at the top three. 
with the third overall pick in Contender. We have Cheetahs, Dravico. It's going along with that Apex Predators theme. I like the Cheetahs name. Nice. Indeed, indeed. And number two, the number two pick for the Contender tier is going to be the Mongols. GM Sneepe. Sneepe. Gonna make it happen. Let's see what he can do with his contender team in season four. Good luck. And for the first overall pick in contender, we have opportunities. Wanma. Well, he's gonna have an opportunity here to get the potentially the best player in contender, so. Yeah, proud of them. You know, a lot of new GMs getting those first overall picks. Really, you'd be really happy to see that. You know, G giving these guys a chance, making things a little more even for everybody. Uh, I, li I like the way the draft lottery went this year. I'm really happy about it. Good job to uh, Edmonds GMs. Anybody who was involved with getting this all together, I, you know, from behalf of the league, we appreciate it. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. The uh, be sure to check out the scrolling draft order on the left there. If you missed any of the picks earlier for the earlier tiers and we're going to have combines at nine. So we'll see you then. Yeah. Everybody tune into combines. And if you are new to the league, there is still a chance you could play as a free agent. Please visit our website, rocket soccer, confederation.com. Bunch of details, stats, everything's on there. Go check it out. But that's it for me and Adam S tonight. We thank you guys, everybody for tuning in. Have a wonderful night and a happy new year. Take care. Can't let you go, can't let you go now Making it so hard